if you try to renegotiate and change it, it will take another one year. If that happens, IMF will not give their next tranche of 400 million in December. If they don't give, the World Bank will not give their next tranche of 400 million. And if they don't give, ADB will not give their th uh, next tranche of 500 million. So about 1.2 to 1.3 billion is in danger from December to January. Without that, the rupee will tumble, inflation will go up, and country will be unstable. So if anyone wants to try that, good luck. Foreign Affairs Minister Ali Sabri cautioned that renegotiating with the International Monetary Fund could have severe consequences, including jeopardizing the next tranche due in December and future disbursements from the World Bank and Asian Development Bank. Speaking at the Two Years of Progress and Advancement Conference, Sabri warned that losing these funds, estimated at 1.2 to 1.3 billion US dollars between December 2024 and January 2025, could destabilize the country further. Sabri also highlighted the ministry's efforts since 2022 to rebuild international relations, restore trust, and boost the economy, leading to the country's current stabilization. Yeah, that's an absolute uh, non-starter because uh, it's a very, very serious process. I started the initial negotiation, President, then President, Gotabe Rajapaksha, officially communicated the desire to apply for an extended farm facility in March 2022. By the time we get the first tranche was March 2023. It took one year for us to agree on the DSA. So DSA has five parameters. 133% of the current uh, debt should be reduced to 95% hmm? on, the, on, on the DSA. <laughs> then 9.3% of the current payment of the GDP, which is going for foreign uh, loan settlement, has to be brought down to 4.5%. Then there has to be a 2.1% surplus on the primary balance. 15% of the uh, tax should be revenue or, or rev revenue out of GDP. Now, you can't just change this. This has become a part of the law. If you try to renegotiate and change it, it will take another one year. If that happens, IMF will not give their next tranche of 400 million in December. If they don't give, the World Bank will not give their next tranche of 400 million. And if they don't give, ADB will not give their next tranche of 500 million. So about 1.2 to 1.3 billion is in danger from December to January. Without that, the rupee will tumble, inflation will go up, and country will be unstable. So if anyone wants to try that, good luck. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.